All right, so here we have the cables that I think are all necessary to uh, make it into the tank, to the motherboard. From left to right here we have, this is just a normal network cable. So uh, I have network on this machine, so I can remote desktop to it in case I need to configure anything or just work with it in general. These two are actually the same one, it's a ribbon cable. Uh, four leads here and two leads there. Um, the four lead connector goes to the motherboard, so I have a power button leading down to the motherboard and the power LED fed back to it. And then the, uh, the two lead connector is for when I am going to add a LCD screen into the tank, if I do it. Uh, then that one should be modified to be connected to the power on and off on that little LCD screen, is the plan. Then I'm just gonna have a generic uh, wire to lead going down also into the tank. Uh, I'm thinking that I need a 12 volt supply power uh, back into the tank to power LED, uh, any kind of lightning or, or whatever into the tank that needs to be in the tank. Um, I don't know if I will have any use for it yet, but I'm trying to plan ahead so I don't have to redo everything later in case something's missing. Having said that, I'm still trying to keep the leads down to a minimum or the cabling down to a minimum because it is uh, very tight for space. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it down. So, But this one I, I think that I will need to use sooner or later. So just in case, I'll leave it in. This one uh, is a power lead to, uh, to that LCD screen that I just talked about. Um, I don't know yet because it hasn't been delivered to me. I don't know yet uh, what the power plug looks like on that one. So hopefully it is that one, it's just, just a wild shot. Uh, if it is, I'm happy. If it's not, I guess I have to modify it at a later stage and cut away that lead or that plug and just add the plug that is needed for the screen. Now this lead is the power for the motherboard itself. Um, that is just a generic plug about I think it's fed with 18 volts or so, so it's basically a standard laptop plug it is, uh, from HP, because it's the same one. And then finally, one USB cable. Um, I would like to be able to connect a keyboard, a mouse, or whatever peripheral that I need to this computer. Um, but I'm only going to use one USB. Uh, connector to do that and then if I need more than one like if I need a, both a keyboard and a mouse Then I have to solve it with a USB hub um, So just that that's one example of keeping down the the number of cables uh, to a minimum in the tank so um, Yeah, I'll I hope this will suffice and I hope it will be enough uh, all right, so here we have the, uh, all the leads in a bundle that I just showed. Uh, and now I need to fix these down into the tank through all the pipings that I planned. Uh, so I'm actually going to attach the uh, motherboard first uh, so I can hook it all up and work from there. I think I need to do a few of these cables through all the holes there first before I connect it. Uh, I think for example you have one of these uh, cores here, the iron cores, to keep the, the signal uh, free from any distortion or on a USB for example. This one is not removable unfortunately uh, so I, I have to like use that first through the correct hole and you know, it's, it's like a puzzle, uh, but with cables uh, to get everything in place. So it's basically going to go up everything here on the back side. 
uh, through the back pylon up and take a U-turn down into the tank again. And then it's just going down into this podium and then under here uh, I'm gonna just do all the wiring and the connections and try to make it neat in there. So yeah, let's get to it. Now I don't know if you see this but off camera I have done the exact cutout here as I did for uh, the bottom piece and that's only so I have more space to work with because this is going to be covered anyway with, with some kind of design thing so you're not going to see this anyway might as well do it easy for myself all right back to the cable so I'm just going to fast connect the motherboard here so now I can start wiring it all up I'm starting with the USB Pick it up here, through the pipe. Here. Then I need the, the rest of the cables as well. The network cable. There. Power I'll take from the other side. Yeah, I'm just gonna feed these in reverse. Ask me why. I think it's easier. Let's uh, connect these first. Power uh, on off and the uh, power LED. Front panel connector. Like so. And we'll just leave this wire in the back here somewhere because I'm not going to use the second one right now because I don't have the screen up through the tank hole and down to the pipe like so into the pipe through the pipe and down through the bottom of the podium I'll take the uh, network cable put it up through the pylon hole down into the tank hole and then of course LAN interface like so power just taking it up through the tank hole again just down the pylon hole then down through the pylon itself of course through the bottom all right so then we have the uh, power plug and the uh, generic lead i want to have the power plug for the lcd the generic lead for the lightning power if I need it so again these are not necessary right now but I would like to prepare just in case so again up through the uh, tank hole here and down the pylon holder on the pylon and I see that I I forgot this uh, USB, so I'll take the USB next. Look through there. There. We'll just take it up like so. And I'll attach the USB, of course. Like so. Perfect. Alright. This is very tight on the USB port. I don't want to destroy anything, so I'm just gonna add some cable length in the back here to make it more flexible all right so let's just uh, feed the cables backwards into the construction so we tighten it here in the back so it doesn't, doesn't go over this plane here and then down through 
the pylon in the back. Well, let's see if we can get everything here. Alright, so all the cabling is done and now it's all of them are tight through the construction and coming down underneath the board. So if I want to add the tank now I just lift this up. The cable is going to be flexible from the bottom going up. Let's uh, get a close up for you guys. So here you now can see USB from the left here, plugged in, uh, the LAN cable, uh, the power cable going in there, and then we have the front panel connector that I made myself uh, going there, a four lead, and then on the back here uh, we have the extra plug that I think will be needed for the LCD screen that's going to be in here. And also the generic 2 lead power uh, that I probably need to use for, for some lighting inside. Oh, and of course that little lead as well that is eventually going to go to the on off for the screen. Everything coming up there through the hole, through the rubber there. We fed through here and then up on top through the tank up taking a u-turn so to speak in the vertical direction down into the pylon it goes down there and then under the podium they're just uh, fed through and under here I can just put all the uh, electronics and make bundles and whatever with the uh, cables that I need. So, cabling done. Good step on the way. <laughs>